Okay, I want to do a quick video of the Ledger Nano S that just came out. Um, this is quite an interesting device. Uh, the way they bill it is that it is a cryptocurrency hardware wallet. So, what does that mean? Well, Basically, what we're talking about is storing value in a hardware-based key. And what's nice about this particular key is that you'll notice that it supports Bitcoin, Ethereum, FIDO authentication, which we'll talk about that a little bit more, and it's USB-based. So the first thing to notice um, from a device like this is that because it's a security device and there are private key unique identifiers associated with this device, the critical part is going to be a seal along here. Now, it's hard to know if they put the seal here, but you can see that the seal hasn't been tampered with and it says contains secure anti-tampering technology this device is protected by cryptographic att attestation wow pretty fancy stuff right now hopefully all of you are aware of what that all means that is very important when you're talking about security. Cryptographic attestation is basically knowing that your keys are yours and haven't been touched by anybody else. So let's open it up and take a look inside. So here we're breaking the seal. So they're tampering with the device. <laughs> So let's see, there you go, that's what's inside. Doesn't look very fancy, does it? No, it doesn't, but pretty, pretty significant weight associated with it. And then you have your other packaging associated with it. It's nice that they, uh, they include a nice mini USB cable. So that's nice, uh, a little key ring. That's kind of nice. Or lanyard, I should say. This is your key ring right here. Okay. So nice for putting on your keychain. Now what I like most about this particular device and why I was drawn to it was this little part of it. Right. So what is this? Well, it basically is an LCD screen, right? So it, it actually lights up here. And it's not lighting up right now because we have probably got to insert it into our computer. So we'll be back uh, after we start that process. But basically, We'll need to insert the micro USB cable into the device and then use the other end for our computer. So we'll continue this 